Today marks a set of special elections. And so there's Georgia's sixth district. We've talked a lot about that here on TYT. But there's also, and Michael brought this up a few shows ago, there's South Carolina's fifth district, which is making news for a fairly unique reason. I hadn't known this, but South Carolina's fifth district is actually the district of Frank Underwood of House of Cards. Now, right, he's, I, from, he's from Gaffney. He's from Gaffney, turns out he's fictional. But that is the district that he originally represented. And that did not go unnoticed in the actual race in that fifth district. And so let's show a graphic, you're gonna see here, this is a, graph, a graphic. This is a video made by the Democrat running in that election, using that pop culture connection to try to make his point. I'm Archie Parnell. I know enough about our US tax code to bore you to tears. I know our trade laws and how to create jobs too. And I also know a few other things. We have a saying in Sumter where I'm from, never slap a man chewing tobacco. Always read the fine print. Shake with your right hand, but hold a rock with your left. The President of the United States fired the FBI director that actually happened, it's not on the show. Whenever you get someone on the ropes, you throw a right to the gut and a left to the jaw. Donald Trump shared classified info with the Russians inside the Oval Office. Yep, that's a thing too. You see this woman? I love her more than sharks love blood. Archie? Even Achilles was only as strong as his heel. Sleep is for the weak. Come to bed, Archie, it's almost 9 p.m. There are two types of congressmen, doormats and matadors. I will be a matador for you. How'd I do? So uh, that's uh, the Democrat Archie Parnell in that race. It's pretty great. Yeah, pretty great ad. I'm sure uh, House of Cards is huge in that district. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's uh, a big show nationally. It's uh, possible some people watch it. I, I, the reason, look, the reason I put it on the show is I just recently watched the most recent season, and uh, it was great. And so uh, that was very appealing to me. I don't know that he necessarily sold the character quite as well as Kevin Spacey, but. Look, we want people to try to humanize themselves. The joke with the wife is 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 you know nice and all. Look, it seems crazy. Crazy things happen in politics. I guess Trump won that district by 17 points. Generally, uh, whose seat was it? Mick, uh, Mick, Mick Mulvaney. Mulvaney. Before so that, Mulvaney though, had John Spratt had it. Right, John, John Spratt, but he got redistricted yeah. a little. Yeah. But John Spratt had it for forever. He was a Democrat. Yeah. Um, and uh, with like a handshake, that was John Spratt's thing. I thought, like, John Spratt shook your hand. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, we have a president like that. Um, yeah, that's true. And uh, uh, so, you know, again, a Democrat had held that seat. It's not inconceivable. It seems so unlikely in the climate we live in now. But if yeah. Republicans are unmotivated and don't turn out, and you know, he's that clearly that like, if you, my hunch is that if he campaigned well and if he met people. They probably like him, right? You and I'm sure they like him. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> and I'm sure he won't win. Right. Yeah. Uh, so to, to put some numbers to it, uh, Hillary Clinton lost South Carolina by nearly 19 uh, points in 2016, and uh, that particular district, the fifth district of South Carolina, is 19 percentage points more Republican than the nation as a whole. So that is a yeah, tough Trump. Road to I hold. think Trump. I think Trump beat, beat. I think Trump beat Clinton by 17 points. In the yeah, district. so that, that's going to be rough. Um, now, I, I we we tried to find polling. It doesn't look like there's any official polling. There was an internal poll that showed him down by 10, and it's an internal poll, which right. is usually somewhat more positive. So that's gonna that's gonna be tough. Uh, and I looked into Archie Parnell. Uh, he's got some on his campaign website. He's got some nice generic statements about a lot of issues. Uh, previously worked as a lawyer for for Goldman Sachs, so some people are going to take issue with that. Uh, and there's not a ton of specifics on a lot of the policies. I mean, he's coming from outside of politics, um, but w w I guess we'll get to that if he is able to overcome what appears to be a nearly insurmountable uh, Republican lead in that district. You don't like ads? Well, I hear you, brother. Did you know that you can become a Young Turks member, get the full two-hour show every day on demand, plus so many other network shows 
all ad free for just 10 bucks a month. Give it a shot right now, tytnetwork.com slash join.